Hello, this is Micro Dragon One, and here's that big transformer that I got. Um, it's about the size of a microwave transformer, but um, it's pretty big. It's got three turns of this wire. I wouldn't even call it wire. I'd more so call it bus bar or something like that. But it's pretty, pretty big. Um, but max output is about um, 1,150 amps at 2.5 volts, and it's the input is um. 120 volts AC um, and when you dead short it out it does at least 15 amps because it blows the circuit breaker on here I should measure that input current when I'm when it's shorted out but it's got it seems to have two primaries um, the way it was actually hooked up when I found it it wasn't it didn't work it had like spade terminals on it and two of the wires were connected together and it didn't work it that way no matter how I hooked it up so I cut it cut the spade terminal off and it works fine now when I rewired it a different way so yeah um, I just have this C clamp on there just because the laminations buzz a little bit so not really sure what what it was for if it's a welding transformer I'm not really sure if 2.5 volts is enough to weld or not um, it's, pl it's certainly plenty of amps um, to weld but I don't know about voltage so alright so I've got a nice little screw across there it's just like a deck screw or something so we're gonna burn it out That does not take long at all. Oh, there it is. Burned out already. That was not... It didn't take very long. I, I never knew that these clamps would ever come that... Would be that useful. I, I'm really glad I grabbed them. Because they're really useful <laughs> for things like this. Alright, so here's a nice thick coil of wire. I'm not really sure what gauge this is, but it's pretty big. Um, clamped it on there. I've got the amp meter on here too. Let me get that so you guys can see that. Alright, so. And you can see there's a screw in there that jumps around from the magnetic field. So we've got 590 amps there. Yeah, but that screw really sticks, sticks to stuff in there. pretty strong yeah it's already really toasty it's pretty hot it's starting to smoke a little bit at the ends yeah it's really hot it heats up really fast yeah 500 six almost 600 amps of current going through that wire not quite what it's designed for but ouch it's really hot it's getting squishy so yeah Alright, so this is how I get maximum amps out of this thing. So I have an old battery lead here. Um, and my amp meter. Let me straighten this out so it doesn't get false amp readings here. Because if you have the um, if you have the wire wrapped around the um, the clamp a bunch of times, it'll actually read like if you have it wrapped around twice, it'll actually induce more current into the meter and you'll get twice as twice the reading. So you don't want to have it too much, like, wrapped around it or else it'll get false readings, but, um, okay, so, here we go. Let me see. Yeah, that'll work, okay. Alright, so, so yeah, I just have it clipped on there, and it's good and sturdy, and here we go. 142, oh, and, the, and the thing just popped there, so... Yep, that's how long it lasts. Shorted out on 150 amps coming out there. I should check the input amps here. Let me see. I've got to wait for this to reset. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Let's see the amp input amps. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a lot. All right, here we go. Input amps. Oh my gosh! Wait a minute. It's off the 20 amp scale. That's that's a lot. No way. Thirty-four amps coming from a twenty-five amp outlet. Oh dear, that's a lot. <laughs> no wonder it's popping the the thing there. Oh, that's a little warm too. Ooh, that's really hot. Oh, the windings are actually a little bit warm too. That's the first time. Definitely first time. Ooh, that looks a little hot there too. It's a little discolored. 
That's a lot of ants going through there. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Um, thanks for watching.